my mentor once said, breaks are boon. I was like, how? But fast forward to today in last 20 years, I realized he was right. Breaks are boon. Any kind of break, whether it is a weekly break, monthly break, semester break, whatever breaks you get in your life are the best time for your life to grow personally and professionally. Today, in this video, I am going to enlist 10 or 11 ideas which you can use to pursue your dream career while you are on a semester break. Basically, I'll tell you how can you use your semester break, biotech college semester break in a better way, in a different way, so that you are ready for the industry. Majority of the students do not think about it. They do not plan about it. And that's the reason they become failures later on. So if you do not want to be a failure after you have passed out, then today you will have to take action. Now, what are those things which you can do during your semester breaks, which I'm going to enlist? But before that, remember anyone who feels that just buying a degree and keep buying a degree is going to be enough, that's not it. Colleges are meant to keep you busy. It's the biggest scam. Colleges are the biggest scam in our country and this world because they waste the time of our youth which could have really gone into something productive. They make you write practical records, internal viva, external viva, whatnot. They keep you busy, but at the end when you come out, when you don't get job, that is where you blame everyone. So instead of blaming anyone, let's put in these 10 pointers into work. So first things first you can do is internship. Obviously, you can take up some research projects. Now, which are the places which you can, where you can take research projects and internships? You have to go to biotechnica.org slash internship. If you go there, you will find, the link is given in the description, you'll find a list of latest internship available or is going to be available in the next summers or winters. Do the summer or winter internship and utilize your semester breaks. Now, the second thing which you can do in case you have a limitation, you cannot go out of your house or you have to take care of something, you can always do online courses, online certification and online internship. Now, many students come to me asking, are online certifications or internships as good as the offline ones? The answer is yes and a no. Yes, because you are getting the best teacher, the best talent, the best person, which you might not have got so easily in the online mode. Because suppose you are in Sikandarabad or some small cities, leave Sikandarabad, any city of the country. And you don't have that talent in that city, right? So you cannot, you have to go out of the city, it will be a costly affair. You can save on time, money, effort if you do online course, online certification, online internship. So this is the second point. Now the third point for you is working on personal project. So it is called as DIY, that is do it yourself. So you have a passion. Suppose you have a passion for artificial intelligence in biology, bioinformatics, whatever is your passion. So you create a project and you reach out to a scientist and say, I want to do this project. Can you help me or can you guide me? And they help you. So this is the third way you can utilize your semester break. Now the fourth one which we have is called as attending workshop and conferences. Now, Majority of the conferences generally are not in the semester break, but workshops definitely will be there. Workshops are of two types, offline or online. So if you have an offline workshop, go attend it. If there is an online workshop, do it from wherever you are. But both will be equally effective if you are ready to learn. The next what, what I can think of would be volunteering as a service. So many a times you can do volunteering or shadowing. So both are two different things, but uh, in the same point, I would like to add. So volunteering is like, okay, you go to a scientist and say that, sir, I am on a semester break. So I'm free for the next one, one and a half month. I would like to help you. I'll not charge anything. I will volunteer. Just that once I'm done, you give me a certificate, whatever you feel like, if I was good. Work as a volunteer there. You work in the lab. You learn things at the same time. Of course, the scientist is getting his work done. So that's a great idea. The next one we call it as shadowing. Now, shadowing is very rare, but it's a very nice idea. 
generally shadowing is done for the ceo so if you want to get into leadership position managerial positions or scientist position top scientist position position so you just have to reach out to them through linkedin and say that i want to be your shadow for the next one month because i have a semester break so would love to know how you work what you work what's your working style so that i can can emulate it and then i can become like you and uh, please if you allow me and uh, sometimes they do sometimes they don't don't i allow so you can always reach out to me so you can shadow that person so basically whatever they're doing wherever they're going you are in that room you are listening to it you are understanding how they're making decision what kind of challenges they are facing how they're solving that problem all of that it's very good for those who want to make a career in managerial position or leadership positions now the next one which i have for you is literature review so of course you can always go and conduct some literature review on a specific biotech topic of interest or area of interest and deepen your understanding and possibly prepare yourself for the future research now basically you have to generate or develop a t shaped personality so the bottom part of t is the in depth knowledge about one particular field it could be anything molecular biology cell biology whatever and the top part should be something very very of shallow knowledge of multiple things like artificial intelligence machine learning bioinformatics um anything which is required for your t so that is where if you develop a t shaped personality that is where you you can win and semester breaks are the best time to develop your personality so that brings me to the next part which is skill development interpersonal skills communication skills team building skills you can take take up courses online offline and learn see back in the day when uh, i was uh, i passed out and i didn't i didn't know how to speak one single line english also and there were no training institutes or rather i was i was so poor that we could not afford training uh, institutes to pay so what i did is i used to st- talk to customer care people i'll just simply dial them and talk to them and they will always just you know talk to me and uh, you know i'll say that this problem i'm facing and they'll try to resolve so i learned english that way so many times it not it's not that uh, you have to learn the right i mean the straight way you can always go the other way around but luckily nowadays you have more skill development institutes available so you can always go for interpersonal skills soft skills per, uh, communication skills leadership skills team building skills these things you can learn and put that in your cv the next one which i have for you is professional networking so create a linkedin profile upload your photo reach out to scientists add them into network post regularly on linkedin like comment share other people's things and then you have to build a reputation for yourself so the, but by the time you pass out you already have a set network which will help you get next one i would suggest is many of you will prepare for csi hanad exams neat exam various entrance exams you do semester breaks are the best time to do that because that is the time when you are free you can focus on the syllabus you can understand how to prepare and strategize and probably you can cover the major portion during the semester break so that later on you have to just revise and you are through so that's one aspect of it now the last but not the least will be if in case you are facing economic situations if you are facing a situation where you want need to earn also you can always go for some kind of part time job or freelancing see i have worked in a pizza shop i have worked in a burger shop mcdonalds i have worked in a shoe so- shop as a sales person but all of that helped me become what i am today so that was during my semester breaks i used to go i used to do and i used to come back i've sold books on the road also so what happens is when you have all of that all that experience will finally take you somewhere at the leadership position or as a as a top notch scientist and that is where you grow remember coursework is not the only thing you should be doing during your college years you should utilize your semester breaks smartly and if you have any more ideas new ideas which you would like to add in this long list of 11 or 12 ideas which i gave you put them down in the comment section so that everyone can learn and do it because i believe we learn from each other that's how we grow that's how we can win this world so here is to all those biotechnica subscribers who watched this video till till the end all the best and i'll see you soon in the next one keep shining take care bye bye